John Fox always said to me, and, and we know he didn't say anything publicly that anybody ever cared about, but he would always say to me, Woody, it comes down to matchups. Now that sounds kind of simple, but uh, Vince Lombardi, not Vic Lombardi, said it's blocking and tackling, kind of, you know. Fundamentals. What is the best matchup that the Broncos can get in this game? So where is it that they do win the game? Take yourself out of them losing. What is the matchup on both sides? And you talked about Jones yesterday, and yeah. you talked about Randall Cobb, but where are the matchups that the Broncos can have the edge? And I mean that in all seriousness. I mean, John Fox was right. I think there was that you want you want Fitzgerald on a rookie cornerback. Right. That's the matchup you're looking for. Right. You want Gronkowski against a team's linebacker that's not very good. What is the best? What are the best two matchups for the Broncos? And I won't ask you specifically because I'm not. I, I'll sit here and tell you. I really yeah, don't I know much about the secondary. Player player. I don't, I don't yeah. know much about the, the about the Packers defense. You know, we, what, what we know is one guy on defense. Clay uh, oh, yeah, Clay Matthews and Julius uh, Peppers. When we talk about players, yeah, they put on a pretty good pass got, rush this year. Uh, Rodgers, they only have Rodgers they only have back. three. They only have three fewer sacks than the Broncos this year. They've got 23 sacks. Broncos have 26. So it's a pretty good pass rush still. Is, is uh, it? So I'm asking you, is it going to be Clay Matthews against... Matt Paradis? Because Clay Matthews likes to come up the middle. Is that yeah. going to be the matchup? Is it going to be Emmanuel Sanders who draws one-on-one -on -one coverage because teams still respect Marius enough to put yeah. two guys on him or float a safety over that direction? Well, uh, all right, well, I'll, give, I'll, give I'll give you one. Green Bay hasn't been running the ball well. So they've had to rely on throwing it to get downfield. And Randall Cobb is their best wide receiver. I can see, I, I, my guess is going to be uh, because of Randall Cobb's speed. Well, no, I, I think it's going to be Tlaib and Randall Cobb. Yeah, I'm not trying to put you I, on the spot. No, no, I don't no. Know that I can answer the question. Well, you have, but that's okay. Uh, no, I'm well. fine with that. Uh, Tlaib against Randall Cobb to me is a huge matchup. I think Tlaib's going to be covering Randall Cobb uh, because if you can shut down Randall Cobb, it, and their running game isn't all that good right now, it it doesn't leave <coughs> Rodgers with a lot to lean on. So he's going to have to make things happen, and then. Then you're talking about whoever Von Miller's going against at well, right tackle for Green Bay. Von Miller's going to have to put some pressure on, you know, yeah, the same way you beat any really good quarterback. You put pressure on him. And, and that's what I, I think uh, Von's going to draw double coverage. He's got that spin move. DeMarcus Ware, they're probably going to put, they're not going to chip him. They're going to chip Von Miller with their tight end. Right. Uh, I think it's Von Miller beating the tight end, beating the right tackle. I think it's Clay Matthews getting to the quarter, getting to Peyton, putting pressure on, you know, that's why I, I agree with you to, to a point, Clay Matthews is going to be in Peyton Manning's grill all night. Well then Paradis better get a lot of help from Evan Mathis and Luis Vasquez and whoever's at running back to take him out. There's one other matchup. The, the Packers don't defend against the rush well. So I'm going to go unit, okay? I'm going to go Green Bay linebackers catching Ronnie Hillman. Catching if Ron, Ronnie if Hillman? If Ronnie Hillman can get to the second level, I think he has a chance for a big game because but they don't stop the run well. He can't get – you, you must be talking about outside. Yes, because well, that's where he likes to run. Here's the problem that people really aren't talking about with the offensive line. When they were successful in zone blocking – it was not just controlling the line of scrimmage, but getting the backside help, yeah. offensive guard and offensive the tackle, blocks. into the second level mm -hmm. and knocking down with the chop blocks the linebackers so that when you, when the hole was created... When the running back C turns. Yeah, yeah. that C.J. Anderson back. or Ronnie Hillman could get into, then you cut back and those linebackers are on the floor. Right. That's where you pick up eight yards. 
That's what Terrell Davis did. Then he could pop 30 yards. They're not getting to the second level because the offensive linemen are not taking anybody down the second level. 